so I got this yesterday from Healthy Planet and I just put half a teaspoon in there and it smells really good. I'm making my morning coffee. So my morning coffee is almond milk, honey, and then coffee. But today we're trying some chaga mushroom. Good morning, sweetheart. How are you? Hi, Squishy. Baby, what do you want? Ooh. Ooh, that chag in the coffee's really good. Oh, wow. Oh, I really like that. Okay. Like, I, I'm pretty sure, like, bot, so, bail is supposed to be set so that the person can pay it. Like, it's supposed to be in, in, a, in, so it's supposed to be a certain percentage of your, of your, your annual income. That's what it is supposed to be. But they, they never follow that, right? Ever. But in Peter Nygaard's case, yeah, in Peter Nygaard's case, they're like, Oh no, it's okay. It's okay. He doesn't have to. No bail. He's he's poor now. No bail. It's like, what? Poor. The guy's like a billionaire. Uh, and 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 you're what you're telling me that his lawyers took a billion dollars. So I'm like, come on, give me a fucking break. He's not. He's not poor. Oh yeah. Like yeah. Real yeah, they had a real thing going. So is he being put in like so so they won't so they don't want to send him to Rutgers because it's too it's it's for the worst of the worst, which is him. Yeah, let him suffer at Rutgers Island. Yeah. The judges obviously get pissed for sentences. And he's going to Rutgers Island, so they'll take care of it. That prison is not supposed to be there. It's supposed to be the worst of it. You well, she was moving over into a corner somewhere over there. I didn't know she Back in again. <laughs> you. What are you causing a ruckus for? Why are you walking back and forth? Back again. You were just outside. We we found you outside. Okay, try me. Now go try mom. You want to go outside? Yeah, but she's gonna go outside. Come on, let's go. Just like that. Yeah. Well, she'll just keep walking back and forth. Maybe she does have to use the washroom. Okay, there you go. Into the water. Okay, so we are going to my grandma's for lunch with my dad. And me and Mike are gonna stop at sale because he wants to get some, I don't know, camping stuff and kind of look around. He bought this really nice, uh, what do you call it? A sleeping bag. <laughs> like one of the ones that like zips over your head basically. Cause he was gonna do like a winter camp, but not for me. I am not a cold person. I hate the cold. There's the last thing I wanna do is go camping in winter time or in some like, you know, unheated cabin. Like I'm not into that, but Mike's into it. So he might go with the dog and do like a little two or three day trip away with her because she loves this weather and this is this is totally her jam so yeah we're gonna go on a little little excursion today go shopping go for lunch see the fam jam and who knows maybe we'll wind up in the city there's nothing to do but apparently today our most beloved 
premiere is going to be making an announcement. Oh wait, maybe not today. This week sometime or something. I mean, like, they try to make it out like, they, they just, they just give you such a little bit of hope and just, like, drag you along as long as they can before they just stomp on your face. That's how it feels. Because this, this restrictions and all this stuff has just been absolute bullshit. Like, it's been so bad for so many people's businesses, for their mental health. Like, I understand someone's gonna come for me and be like, well, we all have to protect each other from Omnicron. It's like, yeah, but like, where does it end? Like, we were told if you get the shot, then everything can be back to normal. You know, we can get everything on track, then everybody gets the shot and then they go, oh, no, you gotta get the booster. If you don't get the booster, then we're not gonna get everything on track. And it's like, there are 16 different variants right now. Like, there's gonna be more. Like, where do we, where do we just call it quits and just say, you know what? Like, the most vulnerable people are the ones who have to worry the most in our society and be the most cautious. And like, I just don't, I just don't know where it ends. Anyways, here comes Mike. He's just looking at me. Why are you looking at me like that? I didn't know you were in the car. Oh. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go now. Are you ready to go see grandma? Yes. Grab lobby. Going for a ride, gonna go to sale, gonna go to... What, do you got some change for me or something? What's this? I want you something. <laughs> I don't want $4. Take it. No, I don't want the change. What the hell? Nobody uses change anymore. Stop. Okay. Coffee's done, I guess. Messenger. On Facebook Messenger? Is that what it is? I don't know. I don't know what they, they thought. What I haven't checked my Facebook. Okay, I'll give you, the only reason I'm bringing this up is because of what's going on mm -hmm. right now. A lot of people now aren't afraid to talk mm -hmm. of what they're seeing because of the way things are going on, right? Yeah. So yeah, I love this, this case. Both properties. Oh, it has the survival instinct oh. characteristic of it being this yeah. together, you know, when you walk through, you see a bunch of guys. Yeah. You gotta make sure, a call. You have to make a call. Oh. Yeah. Um, and you will feel... Yes? You will feel... Yeah. 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 You will feel... Yeah. 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 Don't yeah. use that. Well, we're on our way back from Grandma's. From Grandma. From Grandma Foods. Uh, we had a really good lunch. Hey good guys. conversation, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, take it easy on the turn, baby. Uh, good conversation. Um, what else? We got some take home goodies, right? Lots of yep. cookies, homemade cookies, shortbread, biscottis. Uh, what else did we get? I don't know, there's a lot of cookies in that container chicken, rice, what else? Oh, some plantain, some sparkling drink, right? Mm -hmm. The one that you like? Yeah. <laughs> and now we're gonna go home and cuddle the girl and... Work out. Keely, work out. Work out, do yeah. work out, okay. Get a little sweaty. Yeah. If Molly can do it, you can do it. Yeah. Obviously. I can do it. I don't want to. I will. I'm hungry again, actually. Same to be honest. Me. I'm going to want to go home and eat. You might want to get a drink. Wait, what? You want to get a drink? You want to get your drink on? <laughs> what, what do you want to drink tonight? I want to drink that mead. Oh, the mead. I want to be a little bougie and drink up some mead. Mead, the honey, the honey wine. Uh, oh, I thought we were going to save that for like another day, like a special occasion. for a special day. Oh. You know? Maybe we should drink today for the special occasion of this is the last day before my breakthrough. What's your breakthrough? <laughs> my God has plans for tomorrow. Okay, okay. We can prematurely celebrate it. Okay. 
what about my breakthrough? Your breakthrough comes out of my breakthrough. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm cool with that then. So yeah. me, me did it is then. Me did it is tonight. Well, car's getting towed. We broke down on the side of the road. <laughs> So we're waiting for an Uber to pick us up because you're not allowed to drive with the tow truck driver anymore because of COVID. So we're waiting for an Uber who's going to be here in two minutes. And we have to leave the car. Yay, mommy and daddy! What's your girl girl? Okay. Go Bronte? She's like, where is his beard? Whoa, Whoa. geez. Okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Well, it's getting close. I said they're already on the way. The driver is young. Some leftovers. So they're already on the way to pick up the car. Oh, no, it's already being towed. Oh. They show you exactly where he is on the map. Wow, great. That's fantastic. What Siri, do you want? Siri, you just had to, had to up there. Get it. They even have, a, like? even have a picture of the guy towing it. Of his face. Wow, that's good. Because they said, Mark, call the OPP, tell them that your car is... There's nothing better than towel leftovers. Yeah, he picked up the car. He had it. He had it was towing. He picked it up at six oh eight. Oh, we didn't have to wait too too long. No, that's good. Because I was thinking, like, you know, if another truck had to come up and picked it up. Yeah, like, they could have been like, oh, I never seen the thing in the window. But I guess if they call, because they have to call in the tow. They have to tell, they have to call the, oh, wherever the district they're in to say the tow. Because when someone calls and said, I think my car was stolen, they say no, they type the, because that, oh. I, I, that's happened before, so right? So the police, that lady. So the, they'll say, no, your car hasn't been stolen. We ha it got, it yeah, got it towed. Got towed yeah. Right. I said to him, when he remember the guy was like, "Oh, do you guys take a picture of your car sitting there?" <laughs> the Uber guy, and he said, "Oh, like that it doesn't matter, but it's something. At least you can say your car was." There. I said, "If something happens to that car, insurance can." I just don't know if insurance would cover it though, because you willingly left the car doors open. I didn't. And the key. I didn't leave it open. No. I didn't leave the key there. Keely, they have no. Tr they have no sign of the car. What would you say? Um, I was driving on the road, and my car got stolen, but I, I was in the car? I left my car. I was having car problems. I but that's realize, my point. I didn't realize. Well, you don't think they... You, could, you can't park it up. You can't leave your car on the side of the road, but you are void of insurance if it's left on the side of the road. No, I don't know. It's not on, it's on an Ontario road. It's not... No, I guys. They probably took it up. Oh, that bullshit, Keely. You know that. Wait, Ted, where's the rest of your beard? Did you cut it? Oh, he's had it tucked into his shirt. Oh, it's tucked. Yeah, what did you think it was? Holy shit, I thought he cut it. No way! Oh my god. Are, did you know? Shit. What's going on in this house? Watch the YouTube video. <laughs> what is going on? Oh my goodness! What? Come here! Come here! Grandpa, cut 
No. No, just a piece. No. Come here, over here. Grandpa cut his beard. Whoa. You're not Whoa. gonna do nothing. Yeah. Stop it. Stop it. Nothing. <laughs> Freaking little freaking wolf. She's looking at me this today, right now, probably wondering who is this? What a girl though, Cutie. Okay, so our car broke down. We think there's something up with the spark plugs or the um some tube. I can't remember what it's called, but we couldn't get any like juice into the car. We were driving, so everything turned on, everything was fine, but we couldn't accelerate. Like it was really pushing and like kind of giving this kickback. We drove all the way to my grandma's and then on the way back, it broke down. So the car got picked up and towed and we had to take an Uber back because CAA is no longer allowing people to ride in the vehicle with the tow truck driver. So we were like an hour away from our house. It cost us a 80 bucks in the uber we were home had left over um got some food and now we're gonna just hang out we were gonna do a workout but you know what it's just too late like we just spent so many hours away so i'm gonna be maybe watching some netflix or something come here baby come see your mom over here Sedona, come here. She doesn't know Mike's actually hiding right around the corner. Sedona, where's Dada? Where is he? Kill it. Anyway, so we're gonna go upstairs, watch Netflix, hang out, maybe have a cookie or two, I don't know. But... Uh, just mental drainage is really what that is. And uh, yeah, good night. Okay, so Mike's playing video games. <laughs> so I'm gonna get on the computer. It is, I don't know, 8.30 at night. And start trying to be productive a little bit. Maybe for like an hour, I'm gonna do some work while Mike plays video games with his brother. And I don't know, I just like got caught on TikTok as we do and Instagram and like my brain feels like mush now. And I was like, you know what? Like if you're gonna be playing, I think I'm gonna go in the other room and like work on something. Because I feel like after we had such an unproductive and stressful day, going to grandma's was like obviously great, but the car was just had to end the evening on so much bullshit. So. I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna do something I enjoy, which is scouring the internet for <laughs> ideas and inspiration and reading articles and things like that. So that is how my night is ending tonight. I'll be going to bed at probably 10 o'clock. But yeah, so 